to famed Sanford City in between the hedges in Athens, Georgia, home to the Bulldogs and 90,000 of their closest friends. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history, but right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Auburn Tigers, taking on the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. The Bulldogs will kick this away to get us going. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. So Auburn's offense will get the first swing today. Here we go, Kirk. All the emotion in this stadium. Which side is going to handle that better today? Chris, we had a chance to visit both these teams. And one of the things that we saw, the clocks ticking down all year for this game, this day. Now they get their chance. And he will be stuffed for no game. They're just trying to establish the run. There's not much there, but give credit to that defensive line and those linebackers attacking the line of scrimmage to negate any chance at all. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Looking to throw it on third and very long. And he's got it. That picks up a first down. We'll spot it at the 39. That's exactly what you want to see here from this offense. A big third down conversion. Offensive line did their job, giving a quarterback enough time. Great read, good execution, throws the ball accurately. And now you got some momentum going here on this opening drive. Auburn getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Quarterback still with the football. Already got the first down, but looking for more yardage. They get the senior to the ground, but it's a nice run there. Boy, the option here by this Auburn quarterback. He is doing a great job right now of executing this offense and picking up first downs and trying to get points on the board. Hey, reminiscent a little bit of Cam Newton, maybe Nick Marshall, maybe a blend of the two. Grab behind the line. It's Burton. And he's out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Chris, it's so easy to get excited about the receivers on the outside and their ability to make big plays. But the slot receivers are just as exciting, especially with their finesse, quickness, and ability to make guys miss in the middle of that field. Second down after that run on the previous play. Caught in the backfield. It's Coleman. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, Kirk, you played in plenty of rivalry games. How do they feel different from the others? Well, Chris, rivalry games, and, and depending on who the coach is, this is a game you think about all year. You know, you're working out in the weight room. You're doing drills in the summer two-a-days. Everything is focused on getting to this game and playing your very best. Grab down the middle. It's Coleman. Finding space at the 20. Touchdown, Auburn. This quarterback on fire today. Well, that is a dream start for the offense, Kirk. What an opening possession. You know, sometimes you just want to kind of get settled into a game. These guys didn't really wait at all. They had a script. They knew exactly how to attack the defense, and it works out. And they'll set up now for the extra point try. PAT is good, so it's 7-0. Now 
now the kickoff team is out on the field. Fields it inside the five-yard line. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. The Bulldogs offense comes out for their first possession today. So now here comes the other half of this great running back duel we expect to see today. Both guys keyed up for the game, but also for this individual matchup. Yeah, I like this. A pair of tailbacks that like to pound away at the front seven for four quarters. And with these two, that constant pounding eventually leads to a big breakout play that can change the impact of the game. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. The senior able to make the stop after a short game. And remember, the last time these teams met, it came right down to the wire. Well, Chris, there's so many great rivalry games that we all look forward to every single year. But with these two teams, it just always seems to be a tight matchup. Third down after that running play. Back to throw. It's back. Receiver makes the grab. And the game just good enough for a first down. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And, man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback, and especially on third down, get him the ball. Snags the quick throw. They tackle him at the 38. Solid game. Nice play there. Just a really good ball here to be able to pick up this first down for the Georgia offense. And, you know, being able to have a balanced attack, so important in modern college football. And Georgia does that as well as anybody. The dogs are moving quickly down the field. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, this is what I love to see from a defense. Here's the linebackers are scraping, doing their job, but you need help from the secondary. And when you have aggressive tacklers on the back end, you got a great defense. This time, the secondary makes the difference. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. And he's tackled right at the 40-yard line. It's not a huge game here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. Now from the 40, the offense faces a third and long to keep this drive going. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Caught over the middle. It's Love it. Tackle made at the 41. That's first down yardage. Well, it's third down. The defense knows he's going to get the ball. You still can't stop the quarterback finding this receiver to be able to pick up another first down for this offense. Georgia setting up with a first and 10 now. Handoff here from the shotgun. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well do you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. Using the ground game here, tailback has the handoff. And he's brought down after a short gain does not make the first down yardage. That's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Second down after that previous play. On the ground, it's ETN. 
And the defense able to hold him there to a short gain. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Back to throw. It's back. Throws it to the right. Catch is made down the middle. They bring him down at the seven. The offense set up now with a first and goal. Now that's what I call coming through for your team in a pressure situation. Great read, got the ball where it needed to go, and now you're set up to get six. So another third down conversion. Now they're set up at first and goal. One man at the backfield, and he'll get the football. And the defense brings him down. A pretty good push up front here by this offense line to get some positive yards here. You wonder if they're going to be able to run it in, or they're going to have to spread this defense out and try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup to put the ball through the air for the touchdown. All right, it's second down and goal now for this offense. Trying for the end zone, running it right up the gut. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Nice job by this defense on that second down, so we now have third down and goal. The offense could be thinking about four-down situation. They need to put the ball into the end zone. They don't want to settle for a field goal here. And the offense facing a third and goal from a long way away. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. He was looking for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. So it'll be a chip shot from the right hash mark. And it's good. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Well, he thought about coming out, but instead takes a knee and to bring the football to the 25-yard line. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? And the back gets the football. Defense will make the stop of what will probably be the final play of this opening quarter. Auburn in the lead as we break for the quarter. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. They've flipped ends of the field. We're ready now for the second period. Important second down play coming up. To the air, it's Thorne. And he lobs it deep down the middle. And the downfield shot is incomplete. Brings up third down. But Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. Off the incompletion, it sets up a third down and two. They'll give it to the back. They get him down at the 41, but that's good enough for a first down. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder, knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. On first down, why not keep it on the ground? Now uh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Getting set. Here's second down. And the single back takes the handoff. Nowhere to run up the middle. 
Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fits. they holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. Now the offense facing a third and long from their own 41. Dropping back, they're going to throw for the first down. Makes the grab. It's Burton. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. Special teams on the field now. Here comes a punt. And the fair catch signaled for and taken. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. The last possession, they had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Can they find the end zone this time out? And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Breaks a tackle, and he's got room. They bring him down, but he reaches the 30-yard line. What great patience and acceleration to be able to pick up this first down by this back from Georgia. You think of Georgia backs, you think about Herschel Walker right away, right? Sonny Michelle, Todd Gurley, Nick Chubb, no Sean Marino. I mean, the list goes on and on. A great Georgia backs. Running game is working. They'll stick with it on first down. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on early downs, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four more yards a pop like that. Offense getting set. It's second down. There's the handoff. There's the tackle, but first down yardage. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Georgia getting set with a first and ten now. Offense will keep it on the ground here. Nice run. He's brought down to the 44. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Second down after that run on the previous play. Looking to pass this time. And he just throws it away there. Safe move. Had nobody open. Chris, on this play, he has nobody open. It's better than taking a sack. He doesn't get intentional grounding because where he threw it, there was an intended receiver. I think there's no harm, no foul here. What will the call be on third and long now from the 44? The offense with some pre-snap eye candy. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Tries the right with a quick throw. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. And they'll bring him down, but this offense creates a huge chunk play. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. Georgia now operating in the red zone. An inside give now from the shotgun. You know, in an era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. Second down play coming up. Oh, it's a reverse. Tackle way behind the line. He'll lose six there. Well, the backside rules for a defense against the run are to check for the cutback, the counter, or reverse. That time they stayed home and were in perfect position and were able to stop that reverse in its track. Now it's third and short from the 22. You expect this is four down territory. Let's see what they do on third down. Looking downfield, it's back. He'll throw it now. This one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Well, it looked like the quarterback had everything that he needed there. Had great protection. Receiver ran a nice route. Just not able to convert there on that third down. Let's see what their decision is on fourth down coming up. 
So on fourth down now, out comes the field goal unit. He was successful with his first try. This one from 39 yards out. Right down the middle. Now, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. on the drive and now the kickoff team will boot it away and it comes out of the 25 no return attempted there and the Auburn offense is back out on the field they were forced to punt it last time now they're looking to respond and add to this lead using his legs it's Hunter the game is five so it's second and five now I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Offense in a split backfield now. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Grab down the middle. It's Burton. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. You know, you roll the dice here as a defense when you play man-to-man. -man. The thing is, you've got to get pressure on the quarterback. If you don't, he's got time, and now he can look at that defense and figure out where is his best one-on-one -on -one matchup, and he makes a big play there. Ball handed to the running back. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Second down after that run on the previous play. Back to pass. It's Thorne. Looks toward the sideline, finds the running back. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. How about the discipline of this defense here on second down? You're anticipating a pass. They've got pretty much everybody covered. And then once the back has the ball, how about the speed to be able to bring him down? Now it's third down. Third down here. Time for perhaps one more play before the two-minute warning. Cut quickly. He's tackled inside the 35 and picks up a first down. It's the two-minute warning of this close, competitive first half. Auburn getting set with a first and ten now. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Running back has it on the screen now. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. Good time here to drop this screen in by the offensive coordinator and a nice job by the running back being able to pick up some positive yards here on this play. That completion makes it second in medium. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Caught over the middle. It's Lewis. And he's tackled, but only after picking up a first down. You know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? their own defense and when I played I used to have defensive guys come down and tell me when we'd have a long drive how much it would allow them to rest and go out and play dominant football offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive makes the catch it's Burton four set of bounds after a nice game the offense is knocking on the door with a first and goal Man, Chris, everything seems to be clicking for this offense. And if they can keep this up through all four quarters, it could get really ugly by the fourth. First and goal for the offense. Scanning the field. It's Thorne. He's got it right near the end zone. Receiver steps out just short of the goal line. Well, if you're not careful as a quarterback... This is the kind of route that defensive back wants to jump and get in front of for an interception or maybe a touchdown going the other way. But this time, the receiver runs it well, brings it in, and then gets out of bounds. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. Fights his way in for the score. Touchdown, Tigers! 
Boy, as a defensive coordinator, you've got to be careful being so worried about this pass game and this quarterback that you're a little bit soft up front and it costs you. It's exactly what happened here as they score this touchdown. They're set now to try the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. And he takes this from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. If they want to cut into this lead before halftime, they have to work quickly now. Missed his receiver. It's incomplete. Now it's second down here. After the incompletion on first down, looking to throw it again. Couldn't find anybody open and just has to throw it away. You know, the game often comes down to a play or two, and the offense just missed a huge opportunity for a big play. Going to have to make some adjustments there and maybe go back to that play and see if they can come up with a big opportunity. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. And there's the handoff. Timeout is called by the defense. That's their first of the half. And the Bulldogs will bring their punt team on the field now. Looking to flip the field here. This one will be fair caught. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Dropping back. It's Thorne. Good throw to the left. Pass is caught right near the sideline. What a catch does get the foot down. Well, they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. Fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Quarterback drops back. And now the ball comes out. A disastrous play from the start. Defense grabs the football. It's a turnover. I think that's on the quarterback and the offensive line. They were breathing down this quarterback's neck before he could even recognize that they were there. They were able to knock it loose. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. Well, it's been an entertaining first half. Not much time remaining to cut into this lead. Grab down the middle. It's Love It. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. Boy, a great slant by the receiver. What I love is the quarterback found the window that he wanted to make the accurate throw. That completion makes it second and medium. And he'll set up to throw. It's a quick grab. He's ruled down after the catch, but it's enough for a first down. Well, this wide receiver has it all. We know about his leaping ability and his speed. But what I've seen today is the precise route running. Another example of it there. And the timing with this quarterback and this receiver is just a thing of beauty. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. There's contact on the throw. And it's complete downfield. The tackle is made, but the game sets the offense up. First and goal from the nine. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. The Dogs looking to cap the drive here. It's first and goal. Looking to pass. It's Beck. Launching one to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Georgia. Love to watch this quarterback go out and execute in this kind of situation. He's doing a great job of ignoring the scoreboard and feeling a sense of pressure to have to play with more urgency. Right now, he's executing. We're only in the second quarter. Plenty of time to get back in this game.
And they get set now to try the PAT. Extra point is good. Still down a point, 14-13. So the offense getting some momentum before halftime of the touchdown. Now they kick off and hopes the defense can get a quick stop. And here's the return from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Auburn offense is back out on the field now. Let's see how the offense plays it here. Not much time remaining if they want to get a chunk play, put him in scoring position before the half. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from a first down. The offense will call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Pass complete. It's second down now. Here's the snap. Looking to throw. Fires it to the wideout. There's a fastball, but it's intercepted. And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. That offensive coordinator is going to have some choice words for his quarterback over the phone on the sideline after that throw. You have to be more careful with the football. So they start the drive looking for some late fireworks here, less than 30 seconds before halftime. To the air, it's back. Looking for his big tight end. Oh, it's dropped off the tip by the defense there. It's gonna bring up second down. This secondary knows how to keep their eye on the football and how to break on the ball. I thought the receiver was open. I thought it was gonna be a completion. It gives you an idea of how instinctive and how athletic he is by getting in the way of that and knocking it away. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. And this pass is on target. Caught. And he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. That's what makes this tight end so dangerous. You can flex him out into that slot position. He shows you his versatility. He can be an inline guy that can block, but here he shows you what he can do with his hands. The dogs are going to cash in this red zone trip. The tight end goes in motion before the snap. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Fired into a tight window and picked off. Follows the pick with a nice return before finally being brought down. How about the big fella coming up with the interception? You don't see that very often. So they'll just take a knee here, and that will send us to halftime. Looks like the offense content to run the clock out here and go to halftime. Talk about the second half. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Men, all the tradition and bad blood between these programs, it's all kind of come to a boil today in a spirited first half in this battle between the Tigers and Dogs. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the fight between Auburn and Georgia plays out. All right, let's get the second half going now. The kickoff team is out there. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. Receiver in motion now. First play of the second half is a handoff. A game moves the ball out near the 25. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. A gain makes it second and medium. Dropping back. It's back. Delivers from the pocket complete over the middle. But a huge hit by the linebacker. What a tackle. 
Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. So ball at the 30. This is a manageable third down play for the offense. And they pick up the first on the ground. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. Georgia setting up for the first and 10 now. A handoff to the back. And he's tackled right at the 40-yard line. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Takes the handoff. It's ETN. Good enough for first down yardage. It was a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. This Georgia offense is moving quickly down the field. Ball handed off. It's a two-yard game. Second and eight coming up. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Second down play coming up for this offense. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. The shotgun running play call. That was a nice juke, but not much room to run. He's brought down for a short game. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. To throw, it's back. just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. Boy, third down and short, they decide to throw the football, roll the dice a bit, doesn't work out. Now you're at fourth and short. You got to wonder, with this offensive line and this running back, do you run the football to convert, or do they try to go through the air again? And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. And he puts it out of bounds, so no return. And the Auburn offense trots back onto the field. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. Pass caught. Second down now. The shotgun handoff here. Moves the ball out across the 30, and that's good for a first down. And that's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. Don't forget, good blocking up front by the big fellas. And this running back, he just seems to have a nose for that first down marker. A few more runs like this, and he's going to be getting into a rhythm for sure. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Grab behind the line, it's Lewis. And the defense swarms, not much of a gain on that completion. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. That completion makes it second and medium. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football.
And they'll use the ground game here. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. How about the timing here by the defense to shoot that gap? As an offensive lineman, you have to anticipate that. Close that gap off. Otherwise, it could be a long day. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Looking to throw. It's Thorne. Makes a quick catch. They bring him down, but he was fast enough to get that first down yardage. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. Boy, nice job by the receiver of selling this route to the outside. Created enough space back to the inside. And there's the timing again between the quarterback and the receiver, giving him a chance to come up with some yards. Looking for a gap. It's Hunter. Oh, there's the stiff arm. The pickup is five yards, so it's second down and five. Coaches told us in the pregame production meetings they love this back's mixture of speed and power. We know about the speed, but he also showed the ability to break tackles on that run. The game makes it second and medium. From the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. Makes a quick grab. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. You call a quick out on third down? I think that tells you the confidence you have in a quarterback to be able to make that throw. And on top of that, a little surprise the defense would give that kind of cushion to be able to give him room to pick up that first down. Auburn getting set with a first and ten coming up. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has a handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. Quarterback hands this off and there's nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call. And they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. Here's the second down play. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Pulls it in. It's Fairweather. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. As the tight end flex out into the slot, looking for a matchup there, Kirk. Well, it is a matchup because he has the size where he's very difficult to be able to match up for his safety. And he's got the speed to be able to outrun a linebacker. That's why they like to flex him out like that and be able to pick up nice big gains like this. And he'll drop back here on third down. Looking to the end zone. Looking for a touchdown, but it's incomplete. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. They've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So on fourth down, they will settle for a field goal attempt. And this one is right through. Snap. The hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. Return starts from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. The last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. A handoff from the shotgun. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. Second down after that run on the previous play. The pre-snap motion from the offense. Looking to throw. It's back. The pocket breaking down. They pressure him and sack him. He'll be tackled inside the 10. Well, I love this defense and how they're playing some man coverage. And let's face it, when you do that, it's a bit risky. You can leave your defensive backs out there on islands. But the good combination of good coverage with a good pressure on the quarterback, and you come up with sacks like this.
Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? And looking for a big play here. The catch is made for a huge pickup. Potentially a touchdown-saving tackle, but not before a long completion. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big gain for this offense. And it's Auburn in front as we take a break for the quarter. Sitting in pretty good position as we wrap up the third quarter. Let's check out the game stats so far. We're set now for the fourth quarter. Who is going to make the crucial plays to take home this W? It's a shotgun run call. And he's able to find some room before they finally bring him down. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice gain like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave him a chance at a really nice gain. Second down after that run on the previous play. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Get him down, but the game moves the ball to the 37. You see more and more offenses in college football going with three receivers, and the slot receiver a lot of times can become the go-to guy. He gets mismatches against either safeties, a nickelback, or a linebacker walked out, and you can take advantage of it. The Bulldogs looking to keep this drive rolling. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. He stopped just short of that first down marker, inches away from it. Love those positive yards on first and 10, and it's not quite a first down. Looks like it'll raise second and inches, but sure does open up the playbook here to be able to open up, maybe take a shot downfield. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Quarterback will throw it off the one pass option. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. Chris, how about the offensive balance these last couple plays we're seeing from these guys? Not only are they balanced, but the explosiveness. A big run followed up by a big play through the air and puts a lot of pressure on this defense. Georgia getting set with a first and 10 now. Kibbe decides to keep it here. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. And it's a nice job by this defense. They saw option. They actually forced the quarterback to pull the ball on the read. And then they corral him for a loss. You could tell they worked hard on that in practice. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Quarterback will throw this out of the RPO. And they stop him just short. The defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. So much pressure on the defense against the RPO because you're always going to be wrong if it's executed correctly. Here, they were determined to stop the run. The problem is you leave yourself vulnerable to a throw into a flat. Right flat's open. The quarterback makes the right throw. And look at these yards. They try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. Touchdown, dogs! And they'll claim the fourth quarter lead. Boy, just a great job here by the offensive line and the running back to be able to get this ball into the end zone late in the game like this now in the fourth quarter to give them the lead. Now the important PAT to make it a three-point lead. And the kick is good. A three-point game now in the fourth quarter. It's all up to the defense. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Fielded in the end zone. It's Jackson. Tackle.
tackled at the 14. Not very good field position to start here. And the Auburn offense back out on the field. They settled for three last time. Let's see what they can come up with this drive. He shreds the tackle. You know, a lot of people feel running backs with elite speed shy away from contact. But that wasn't the case there. Instead of running around the defender, this back elected to run right through him. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. To throw. It's Thorne. Signs the quick throw. They tackle him at the 38. Solid gain. Nice play there. That's a nice pick up there. They find some space in the zone and pick up the first down. Yeah, really nice call here, Chris, to be able to pick up this first down on this drag route. The quarterback does a nice job of being patient, waiting for that window to open up in that zone, and he put it right on the money for the receiver to have a chance to not just catch it, but eventually get the first. And looking to throw now on first down. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. So, second down after the incompletion. And the quarterback dropping back. Caught over the middle. It's Fairweather. But a huge collision. Blow delivered there by the linebacker. That's the thing with this guy. You've got the ability to flex him out. He shows his versatility and what he can do from that slot position. He could be the quarterback safety blanket. Offense are going to keep the drive going here. Third and short now from the 44. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Grab down the middle. It's Fairweather. It's a big gain across midfield down inside the 35. This Auburn offense is moving quickly down the field. Looking to throw again. Caught over the middle. It's Lewis. Tackle made at the 21. This offense in great scoring position now. We'll see if the defense stays in zone after that big play. If they can change things up on this drive and get a little bit more aggressive. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Well, I'm a big fan of the RPO, but it is a dangerous play for the quarterback. you got to make the right decision. And on this play, it just seemed like he was a little hesitant, unsure, and it cost him here with an incompletion. Offense lines up. This is the seventh play now in this drive. He hands it to the back. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. That's a great play all around by this defense. Their first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Here we are late in a close game. Crucial play coming up, third and long. Dropping back, it's Thorne. Looking for the wide out. Makes the catch. Can he get in? Tackle made at the one-yard line, but it'll be first and goal. Well, this is why this guy's one of the top wide receivers in college football. It's third down. The defense knows you're probably going to go to him, and they still can't stop him from coming down with a big play. And now a chance to take the lead with a touchdown here. It's first and goal. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. Touchdown, Auburn. They jump in front here in the fourth. Ah, you just love to see this when the game is on the line. This offensive line does a great job of executing up front, giving this back just enough room to be able to get into the end zone and give them the lead. Here's the point after attempt. He 
PAT up and good to the lead is four here in the final quarter. Here's the kickoff team now set to boot this one away. Bringing it out. It's Bell. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. The last drive, the passing game, very effective. Moved him right down the field. And the defense make adjustments. And that's incomplete. Even on a first down pass attempt, he felt heavy pressure. Second down after that previous play. Dropping back. It's back. Quick throw to his receiver. He's got it for a big game. They tackle him. Looks like it's going to be just short of the mark. Inches away. Some really tight windows to throw into for this quarterback with the defense sitting back in zone. But he finds the curl route and he shows you his arm strength by getting it in there. So the offense faces a third and manageable here from the 25-yard line. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first-down yardage. Yeah, I love how the back didn't really dance around trying to make a big play. He knew it's third down in inches, lower the shoulder, get the first down. And we've reached the two-minute warning as this offense tries to steal a late-game comeback victory. Georgia setting up with a first and 10 now. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Oh, downfield catch made on the left side. Tackle made after a big game. Now the receiver does all the work here. Man, that is easy living for this quarterback. Really good footwork by the receiver, gets the separation, and at that point, it's just pitch and catch for the quarterback. So the offense with the first and 10 now, the football placed exactly at midfield. Pressure is coming. The short hands, it's Bell. Tackled quickly after the catch, he'll be short of the marker. Man, give the defense a lot of credit. You're taking away the elite receiver. That primary target forces the quarterback to find a second or third option. He gets positive yards, but anytime you can take away the big play late in the game, it's going to help you be able to secure victory. Looking to pass here on second down. Good quickly. And the coach quickly calls timeout after the play, trying to hold on to as much time as possible. Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. Looking to chuck it again. He's running out of time here. Nice grab. It's Bell. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve as much clock as possible. Seventh play of the drive coming up. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Tipped and then dropped. A chance to make a play, but instead it's third down. At this point in the game, obvious situations. You're going to throw the football. I like the call by the defensive coordinator. Went with dime. Six defensive backs get him as much speed on the field as you can. May have confused the quarterback there a little bit and led to that incompletion. In the third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Here's a screen pass to the running back. And they wrap him up, but the gain is good enough for a first down. Well, it's so easy to get caught up in the receivers and the quarterback and your eyes get lost. You forget about the running back. Nice catch and a first down for this offense. So it's a first down here. The clock is stopped temporarily, but they'll get to the line quickly. And the offense wisely spikes the ball here to stop the clock. Defense cannot get off the field. The long drive continues. Scanning the field. It's back. Quarterback looks to his right and finds his man. And he'll step out of bounds to stop the clock. That is perfect execution there. 
This is why offenses drill down on the two-minute drill year-round. You want to have quarterbacks and wide receivers completely dialed in on down and distance and especially the clock. You got to get out of bounds when you can to preserve it. They do a really good job of that right here. He's got it near the end zone. Brought down, but the catch moves the ball all the way down to the one. And the offense will wisely spend a timeout after the play. Clock management is going to be very important here in the final minutes. Second down, we're going to throw it. Looking for six. And it's incomplete. He was looking for the end zone. Now that's going to bring up a critical third down here as we're late into this football game and a drive where they need points. This quarterback's got to take control of this huddle, make sure everybody's on the same page. You have multiple plays that you could go to, whether it's a run or a pass, but you've got to come up with a first down. Looking to the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. To claim the lead here in the final minute. Oh, man, I think the defense was so caught up with their eyes on the quarterback, they completely lose the running back and out of the backfield. Nice job by the play caller here of getting the ball out to the running back instead of the receiver for the touchdown. Now the crucial PAT to stretch the lead to a field goal. Kick is up and good. They go up by three here in the fourth quarter. Can they hang on? Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. They'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Well, the offense here needs some big plays to give the kicker a chance here. The clock is a factor. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. Let's it go quickly. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived at the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Well, you can see what happens when you try to squeeze it into a tight window. An incompletion is probably the best result you could have hoped for because an interception is the most likely outcome anytime you throw into double cover. They need to score quickly here, trying to dial up some big plays. Fires it to the wideout. He makes the grab. And a timeout is called here, 10 seconds remaining on the clock. They've got to get points quickly here, looking for explosive plays right now. First down, we're going to throw the football. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. Now a late timeout is taken. Six seconds showing on the clock. Offense getting set here, needing some big plays to get into field goal range. The clock winding down. Final minutes here. They'll throw it deep downfield. And this one is dropped and incomplete as time runs out to end the ballgame. game. 